Have you ever played two truths and one lie? Yes, right? Okay, how about now? Two legit proofs and one false proof. No? Don't worry, we are going to play right now. I will give you guys three proofs and you guys will tell me which one is false, right? And they all involve like famous statements. Have a look at the first one. We cannot divide it by zero and this is the proof for this. Well, as you can see, we have the word cannot. So it's a good idea to use contradiction. So let me just write that down. By contradiction. And for doing contradiction proofs, let's just go ahead and be more clear. We are going to say, assume that we can actually divide it by zero. So let me just put that down. We can divide it by zero, right? Okay, so the way to do contradiction proofs is that once we have this assumption, which is the opposite of what the statement is talking about, we'll try to end up with um, something else that's crazy, right? Well, we are working with zero. We know one of the facts about zero is that zero times any number is equal to zero. So have a look right here. I'll just put on notice. Well, if we do zero times one, this will give us zero. And if we put down zero times, what's your favorite number? 17, okay. 17 right here, this will also give us zero. As we can see, this is equal to zero, likewise that. Therefore, we know that this must be the same as that. Zero times one has to be the same as zero times 17 because they are both equal to zero. Very nice. Now, this assumption says we can divide it by zero. Let's look at this equation and let's just go ahead and divide both sides by zero. Of course, this and that, this and that will cancel. So what do we get? Yes, we end up with one is equal to 17. Whoa, new math. Of course, this is not correct. So I'll just mention that. But we know that one is of course not equal to 17. Therefore, this is the end of the proof. And I'll just put down the notation right here. It means that we are done with the contradiction. And this right here shows us because we end up with a crazy result, that means this assumption is false. So we conclude that we cannot divide it by zero. Therefore, this is the first one. Now for the second one we have. 0 to the 0 is not equal to 1. Alright, because we have the word not. So maybe it's a good idea to use contradiction again, right? So let's make that happen. So we'll just say by contradiction. And then let's write down the assumption. We are going to assume that 0 to the 0 is indeed equal to 1. And let's put that down right here. Okay, as we can see, this is in the exponential form. So maybe we should take some natural log. So let's go ahead and do that. Put an ln here and likewise do that here. This way we can bring the power to the front. So you see this is 0 times ln of 0 and then ln of 1 is just equal to 0. Yes, we have zeros on both sides, but no, we are not going to divide it by 0 on both sides. Instead, let's take the ln again on both sides. And on the left hand side, because this is 0 times that, so we can use the log property and we will end up with ln of the first and then we add it with ln of the second, which is ln of ln of 0. And then on the right hand side, we have ln of 0. Now, we have ln of 0 on both sides. Let's minus ln of 0 on both sides. Because this way, this and that will be cancelled, likewise this and that. Therefore, we get ln of ln of 0. And uh, the right hand side is just equal to 0 because this minus, minus itself. Now, you ready? We are going to do e to that power and e to that power so that this and that can be cancelled. And then on the left hand side, we'll just have ln of 0. And on the right hand side, we have e to the 0's power, which is just equal to 1. And we are going to do this again. e to that power and e to that power. This and that will be cancelled. And ladies and gentlemen, we get 0 is equal to e to the first power, which is equal to e. Wow, look at that. Of course, this is false. So I'll just say, but we know 0 is not equal to e. <sighs> However, though, this is good because we are done with our contradiction proof, meaning that the original statement is true. All right, so that's the end of the second one. Okay, for number three, we are going to show that the equation 2 to the x power is equal to 0 has no real solutions. In fact, it has no complex solutions either. But let's just look at the real case. Well, again, because we have the word no, right? So try contradiction, of course. PF right here, start by saying by contradiction. And then just to be legitimate, we are going to say assume that the opposite. So just assume there is a solution, right? 
and we're just going to say call it star. I don't want to use the other letter, I don't know why, but let's just say call it star in R, all right? Well, because this right here is a solution, this means we have the equation, right? Keep that in mind, we have 2 to the star is equal to 0. This is true because star is the is a solution to that equation. And now let me just put that down right here again. 2 to the star is equal to 0 now. Very nice. This is really cool. What exactly is star? I have no idea. It's just a, a element in the real numbers. Check this out though. Suppose we just multiply both sides by 2, which is totally legitimate. Well, right here we can still use the rule of exponent because the base is 2 right here, right? So on the left hand side, we get 2 to the first power plus star. And on the right hand side, we just get 2 times 0, which is of course equal to 0. But why exactly 0? Yes, 0 is the same as 2 to the star. So this right here is the same as 2 to the 1 plus star power is equal to 2 to the star. Well, the bases are the same. We are talking about the real case. You can take the natural log, both sides whatsoever, or log base 2 whatsoever, but you can just say this is equal to that. So we'll just say 1 plus star is equal to this star in red. Check this out. Both sides, they have star. So let's go ahead and minus stars on both sides. So that way this and that will be canceled, it likewise that. And ladies and gentlemen, on the left hand side, we have one. On the right hand side, we have nothing, so which is just zero. Hey, one is equal to zero. But I know, we know one is definitely not equal to zero. However though, this right here completes the proof that two to the x has no real solutions. The truth is, this right here is actually the false proof among the three I demonstrated. Why? Because the moment that you have ln of 0, it's undefined. So pretty much the rest of the computation doesn't make sense. So if you find math interesting, then I think you'll also like Brilliant. Brilliant is one of the best websites for math and science, and I've been a long-term user because of the variety of courses that they have. Currently, they have over 60 interactive courses in math, science, and computer science. These classes are designed to make fun and engaging. I like their logic, algebra, and calculus classes because they often provide me a different point of view so that I can learn something new. So right now, I want you guys to pause the video and try to figure out what Bob's number is. And you know, the more you work on Brilliant's questions, the more you will like them. And let me tell you, they have beginner level of math courses and also advanced courses such as differential equations and quantum computing. I'm sure you will find something that you like. Plus, if you use the link in the description, brilliant.org slash black and repent, then you can enjoy a 20% off of the annual premium subscription. So go ahead and check them out. And thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. So this is the bonus part. We are going to show that the method in proof number two does not work. Namely, when you deal with that ln of 0 and whatsoever, it just doesn't work, all right? So have a look right here. Yes, of course, put on the PF, and yes, proof by contradiction. So let's go ahead and write that down right here. We will assume that the method in 2 does work. So if the method in proof number 2 does work, then it should also work with the following. We will use the same method, right? Use it to prove that, so perhaps let me put on a quotation mark right here, to prove that, well, 0 to the second power is not equal to 0. Of course, this is bizarre, because 0 to the second power is in fact equal to 0. However, if you assume the method in number 2 works, then this will actually be true. But it's not true. Therefore, 2 is actually not true either. Okay? Well, we're going to do a proof again. So here we go. Put on PEF because we are going to utilize the method uh, in proof number two to do the same thing, right? So again, let's just put on by contradiction. Assume 0 to the second power is in fact equal to 0. And again, let's just put that down here. From here, yes, take the natural log on both sides and then bring the power to the front. So we get 2 ln of 0 and that's equal to ln of 0. Right here, I would like to just subtract ln of 0 on both sides. Remember, this is one of the steps that we did in step in proof number 2. So 
because now we are saying it was okay to do so right now it's okay for us to do as well right so that way let's see what we get okay so this right here will give us 2 ln0 minus 1 ln0 which is just ln0 and then on the right hand side we get 0 okay and then of course to get rid of this we'll just say e to the power and e to the power this and that cancel ladies and gentlemen on the left hand side we get 0 on the right hand side e to the 0 is equal to 1 wow but you know of course 0 is not equal to 1 thus we are done right However, you see, once we use the method number two, we were able to show that zero to the second power is not equal to zero. But zero to the second power is in fact equal to zero. Therefore, <laughs> yeah, therefore, the assumption that the method in number two works is false. Therefore, the method in number two doesn't work. I hope I make everything clear. Hopefully you guys all enjoy all the logical steps and things like that. I try to roll down everything as, as much as possible. Let me know what you guys think, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.